somebody. Welcome back with Cooking with Nana. Mini Koi. Today I am gonna show you guys how to make sweet rice mango. So the sweet rice mango, you can have um, plain sticky rice. Okay, I have sticky rice. This is khao gam. In Lao we call khao gam. It's like purple rice. And then um, how, um, I mix this rice to make it dark. I soak overnight. So I use um, Say I use one cup of this of the dark, um, the purple rice and then two cup of the sticky rice, the white sticky rice. If you don't have the um, the purple rice, you can use just this to make sweet um, to make sweet mango rice. So I combine these two together. I soak it, and it's like this. And I'm gonna steam it. This is overnight how my um, how gum looks like. So, I have my basket of steamer. So, I'm gonna rinse it a little bit. Pour it in here. I'm gonna steam this. I have my steam cover, so I'm gonna go and steam it. It's like how you steam sticky rice. Once it's cooked, I'm gonna flip it and get everything ready. And I have coconut meploy, the um, the leader, um, the big can, and I have one teaspoon of salt, one cup of sugar and a mango. I prefer this kind of mango. It's more sweet and then um, it doesn't have that. Other, other mango have um, like a thread but this one is a smooth um, mango. I'm going to get to make my sweet mango rice. I'm going to use this coconut. Or in here. If you're gonna make a lot, it depends. You can use one can, but it, it depends how creamy you want your rice to be. My second coconut. And then I'm going to take this to go boil it down. I'm going to add um, one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add, add the sugar the last. And I'm going to go boil this while my rice is still cooking. So I turn on high heat and try not to burn the coconut. Because if you burn the coconut, it won't taste good. So we just gonna, um, I'm just gonna let it um, cook down the coconut milk. If you don't have coconut, you can use coconut um, um, coconut cream also. The coconut is um, boiling. Low down your um, heat to medium. You're still gonna. Um, and down more so we're gonna kind of um, let the coconut melt it down a little bit more it's a little bit more thick now it's boiling so I reduced the heat to medium low and we try to um, reduce the coconut down a little bit more so so this is how, yeah, for probably like another five minutes, for, for me, I'm going to do ten, because I want the coconut to um, reduce a little bit more. 
So my rice is done, um, cooked. So I'm gonna flip it like this. Let it cook the other side. And wait until the other side cook. Um, let it melt down. A little bit thick already. So I'm going to turn it off. And bring it over here. I'm going to add my sugar. Rice is cooked. I'm going to pour all in here. You see how it's turned purple rice? Then I'm going to mix this in together. Don't get scared. You think it's watery? When it get cold, um, when it get cool, it's gonna um, get um, suck all the juice with the rice. It's gonna suck all the coconut and the sugar all together. So, so I'm mixing everything in together. So um, I'm gonna taste. I'm fine with the sweet. I don't want too sweet because the coconut is creamy already. So I'm gonna let it sit. All the juice of the coconut, let it cool. And then my next step is gonna show you how to do another topping for um, the purple rice. Step is to do um. Sankaya and the um, the custard with eggs. So the thing I have would be you can find this like it smells like my thai. You can use this or you can just use all plain eggs. But um, I find out that you know a lot of people say oh you can still smell the eggs. But then when you use um, my thai flavor, it it turns out pretty good. So what would I have is my one teaspoon of salt, one can of coconut milk, and one cup of sugar, and my 12 eggs. So 12 eggs, I'm gonna use, I'm, not, I'm gonna split between the whole eggs. I'm gonna use, let me see. So I'm going to use four of the um, whole eggs and the rest I'm going to use yellow eggs because the Khao Sankaya, we mostly use yellow egg. If you have duck egg, it's good because duck egg brings out more yellow because so I'm just going to continue just using the rest of the, the yellow eggs. So, one teaspoon of salt in here, a cup of sugar, and one can of coconut. Okay. So, I add sugar and I have this. Um, this brand is called Thai Custard, a mix um, by Thai flavor. It smells like by Thai. So I'm using one pack of this. And this. And I'm gonna use my mixer. So you blend it in all together. So if you cannot find this, you don't have to use it. So you can just use like 
Just skip this, use the rest as just eggs. Make sure everything's very mixed. Okay. This. I have my um, glass um, plate here. I'm going to pour it in. And then I have my steamer started already. It's all, um, I have, so I'm going to put in this in my steamer. My steamer is, I, may, I start hot, hot. So I'm going to steam this like probably, um, I'm going to come check in 30 minutes to see if it's done. So I'm going to cover that and let it cook for 30 minutes. And then I will come back. They'll use one can of Miploy and add like um, a pinch of salt. So I'm gonna um, let, let the coconut melt down. This is gonna be like top of um, for the sweet um, mango. So this is my purple rice kaukam and then the sweet mango and I um, Melt down a little bit of the coconut. Meaning horn you. And then um Kao Sankya. This is the custard. So um I use the um by the flavor. So this is how I will serve it. See once it cold mandian. How you want to fix your rice? Okay. If you don't have the um, the proper rice, you can use um, sticky rice, the white rice, sticky. Mango. I slice my mango. So, and this depends how you want to cut your mango. And then the next one, we'll place this, let this um, cool down, but right now, you know, since we're doing this video, just spin how you want your glaze of coconut. And then sesame seed. Okay. This one is the sweet rice mango. And this one is going to be khao sankya, the custard. I'm going to cut it. Depend how you want it. You can line it up like this. Line up like that, or you can do A 
long way as also. And that one. And this is how it is. My um, cowl. Um, with um, sweet rice mango with purple rice and cow kang <laughs> sorry can't pronounce that yep. okay so let's taste this mm. Mm. the mango is sweet the rice is creamy sweet and then you do the same thing you serve to people like this and you eat it and try it mm. so perfect so this is how my um two of my dessert topping looks like so please try it and see how it is and this is the the way I do my dessert so next time um Masim, come and try it and um, if you try this please post on facebook um cookie with nana fan page would love to um see the picture that you guys have done all the dishes and thank you so much you know come and watch my video and then tonight how to my like i said mother mother makin um kong wan nam gan man sa ok ma pen bap si khop jai lai lai la gon you have like say you have left over of the rice you can do like this get a plastic wrap wrap it up do like one serving One serving of this, you roll it up, just like this. Keep doing it until that's um, because you don't want to waste your rice, right? And then you don't want the rice to get bad, and you can come and serve it next time, you know. And you keep doing it in the plastic. Okay. Just roll it. You know, you can do like this. You can do like this. Let me do it one more time. round one you can do this and you can um, freeze it in your freezer whenever you want it just bring it out microwave it just to um, well the um, let it um, uh, um, let out when you bring out from the um, freezer let it sit out here for like until until it's soft not soft but you can microwave it like for a minute or two and then just bring it out break it or you can just steam your rice in a steamer as long as you have this rice in the freezer anytime you want. So this is how I make my uh, thing if I make extra.